Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Matthew chapter 17 and chapter 18. And what stood out to me or what I found interesting the most in chapter 17 is verse 20. And it says, He replied, Because of you have so little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, Move move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. This is a really powerful statement. Because as you know, when Jesus is talking about the mustard seed, it's a small seed in the world. And that little seed grows into a big plant inside your garden. Almost looks like a tree. And that's us. We of course have faith and like a little mustard seed. Where when we do have that faith, we, we have the possibility and movement to be able to to be able to do anything in our life as long as it's with Christ and it's it's within Christ's values and it's in his will for us to do that. But we have to have that faith. Just like the people that saw Jesus and they had the faith to be healed. Now you gotta remember, some people touched Jesus and they did not have that same faith. They did not have that same faith to heal. Even though why they seen Jesus and they heard Jesus. Not everyone got healed who touched Jesus. But the people who were willing, the people who had that strong faith, hearing Jesus and seeing Jesus will be able were healed. And that's just like us. We don't we don't get to see Jesus today. We don't get to see him physically with our eyes. We don't get to hear him speak. But he still speaks to us in our heart. And through emotions, he speaks to us. And that's really cool that we can still have that same faith as a mustard seed. And as long as it's in God's will and we pray for it, he knows what's in the will. He knows what's better. And if it's in his will, we can move that mountain. But we have to have that faith. And that's why I like about this so much is it gives us an encouragement and hope. That as we have that faith as a mustard seed, we could grow strong as a tree and produce fruit. But it comes by understanding Christ. It comes by reading his Bible daily, understanding that, yes, we are going to fall because we live in a sinful world. But understand that we could control that. We could tell Satan to go away when we need to. That's when we need to understand that's when we grow stronger in God is when we ha- when we could tell Satan to leave and we have to get used to telling Satan to leave and it's not hard for us to do because we live in a sinful world but if we have faith like a mustard seed in Christ and tell, Sa- and tell Satan to go he goes and he won't come back and that's the power of having the Holy Spirit inside of you so I pray this helps you guys today is to have that faith like that mustard seed and grow in God's kingdom. Don't be afraid to open up your Bible, listen to worship music, and praise God because you still are breathing and He still loves you. So think about that today. Pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys and God bless. Hi guys, welcome back to reading the Word and understanding the Bible verse. Today I read Matthew chapter 17 and chapter 18. And what I find interesting or what stood out to me most is in chapter 18, verse 20. And it says, For when two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. So what this is talking about is when two people or three people come together and they're talking about the Lord and they're discussing about Christ, he's there. He's there, his Holy Spirit comes down, and he's there with us, dis- listening to us discuss about him. And I think that's really cool to know, because whenever we are with Christians, we feel that Holy Spirit together. We feel that love and that kindness that flows out of us, and that's Jesus living inside of us. And I think that's really cool to understand that it doesn't mean that you have to go to church 
you have to have a huge con, con uh, huge amount of people with you. You don't. Jesus said, all you need to have is two or three people talking about Jesus, and there I am. I am there with you. So that's what's really cool about this, is when you have two or three people talking about Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes together, and that's when we learn about Christ. That's when we grow in Christ. That's why it's good to have Christian friends that you know, because when you come together, you sharpen um you sharpen each other's spirit and you help each other grow. That's why it's good to have Christian people in your life who have the same faith as you and who or have that same hope and desire that Christ is the true living God. And when you have that when you have people in who have the same Holy Spirit as you, it's really cool because you could go to them about anything, and they could help you go through your struggles, and you could help them go through their struggles. And Jesus is right there as we talk. And I think that's really cool because the love of the Spirit is there, and you can feel it. And I have felt this before talking to friends who I know who are Christians, or talking to just my just to my dad. And we have felt the Holy Spirit just being right there because you feel his love and his presence. And it's really cool to know that this is how God works. Is It doesn't mean that you have to go to church or you have to go to a big crowd. It's just two or three people just coming together, praising God, even worshiping together. And you don't need a lot of people, even two or three people. That's it. And his Holy Spirit is there and he's there listening. And you can feel his presence. And that's really awesome. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that you guys have a good day. Blessed day. Love you guys and God bless.